right now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm CJ Ward. We begin at 6 o'clock with a busy week for Halloween activities, even though Halloween is next week. And News Channel reporter John Paul Monteri has stopped by several different locations. John, this is also a huge economic boost in some areas. It is in so many areas on the south coast and the central coast with the Carpinteria trick or treat in the downtown area concluding a short time ago and a costume contest at the Linda Fairley Arts Center. Tomorrow, Santa Barbara has its trick or treat events in downtown Santa Barbara on State Street and all of this will bring hundreds of people to each block and it will be a big boost for business. <laughs> It's going to be a scream in downtown Santa Barbara Saturday afternoon. Businesses are decorated and kids will be trick-or-treating from 3 to 6 p.m. And we've got over 110 participants this year, so it's just a great way for our businesses to be highlighted. Each business will be adding special balloons and loading up on candy. In addition to all they've added in the way of creative and colorful Halloween decorations. It's the excitement, as we say, yeah. At the State Street Axe Club, the gateway is an inflatable, followed by a cave of ghoulish decorations and colorful characters, some from famous movies. I got bags of candy ready to go, and especially when you are decorated, the kids light up. Yeah, you can get candy and they're going to enjoy that, but when there's giant inflatables or spooky ghosts or characters they love, it definitely makes it a better experience. So many of the businesses we're going to be decorating already, but to unite them in one big event is going to stimulate the economy in downtown for several blocks. Well, yeah, parents come out, you know, they want to, they get hungry, you know, everybody gets gets a little bit, some drinks, some food, and everybody wins, you know, kids get the candy, and yeah, everybody's happy. At Yona Reds, they've added decorations and are expecting more foot traffic and hungry families are walking or running up and down the street for all their treats. This is just a great way for us to pull everything together and collectively market our community and what everybody's doing and just highlight kind of the best of downtown. The downtown organization said many of the businesses went all out on decorations inside, outside, and sometimes on the rooftops to get into the Halloween spirit and to take part in the competition over about nine city blocks and adjacent streets. Well, there was a contest for the businesses down here to decorate, and in that contest for decorations, Number three was the Red Piano, number two was Whiskey Richards, and number one is where I'm standing. We're in front of the Wildcat Lounge, which is loaded with decorations throughout the entire business. But out here on the front window, one thing I did notice here is they have one of those signs that say, come in, we're open, and here it says, come in, we're dead. <laughs> the Wildcat Lounge, number one in decorations inside and out. Reporting live in downtown Santa Barbara, getting into the Halloween weekend spirit, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmenteri. Many places to find the Halloween spirit. Thanks, John. Next week, the Isla Vista Recreation Park District is kicking off Halloween with its. With its